beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed for tonight, it's an extraordinary night. Jesus, we bless you. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, 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 break every Just from the side, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. Sing it as a prophet. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. It will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. That's what you'll do tonight. You'll break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. One more time. You break every chain. Hallelujah. Let that be your first prayer point tonight. Father, break every chain. Lift your voice and pray. Break every chain. Break it. Break every chain. Sabradagadoshi Priyata Galatusi. Please pray. Number two, Lord, I cry for a visitation tonight in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. A visitation by your spirit. It is within your power. Visit me tonight. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Revelation chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. This was the worship in heaven. He says, saying with a loud voice, read with me. Worthy is the Lamb that was who has received for us. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. And finally, open your mouth and prophesy these things. And say, Lord, you have received for me. This is what redemption makes available. That in Christ, all of this, please keep the scripture on the screen. Pray. You have received for me power, dominion. You have received for me riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory. Take away shame. Everything he did not receive for you. Decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Please be serious. Be serious, those outside, those online, follow us as we pray. Shake it, take a tabaraka to shabra nagata. E break it, take a to shabra scalabarako to so break it. You have received for me. You have received for me power, honor, glory. You have received for me. The last prayer point and we'll sit down say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus let tonight be a night of strange signs and wonders in my life I release my faith to receive everything that must move me forward in this year of triumph lift your voice and pray I release my faith tonight I release my faith to that. Your grace has made it available for me. Shaparaka to Sata. Lekate Praka to Saprakatash. I take my ears away from the naysayers, from the doubters. I believe you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please walk up to five people, give them a big hug, and tell them you are in for an encounter. Make sure you are generously blessing someone. Those online, find someone near you. Tell them you are in for an encounter in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Those outside, can you shout Jesus? That's the name that will disgrace the devil in your life this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him, and given him an office a name was given to him please let your heart be open i just want to charge us tonight i really believe god with all my heart i prayed for you and i believe god with all my heart that tonight will truly be a night of miracles Amen. in the name of jesus christ like i told us we're trusting god to make sure please listen that between now and the last koinonia meeting that every prophecy that is still hanging 
our assignment in these few weeks is to engage every mystery that must be engaged until we see it to pass we will put pressure on god's integrity until the word of god finds expression it says give him no rest until he establishes zion hallelujah praise the lord i just want to share with us something that the lord put in my heart tonight it's a miracle service and um there's a lot to do tonight but as i began to examine what i would share the lord put in my heart to just exhort us and challenge us before we begin to pray and i just want to give us a little charge over an area that i think is is very subtle but many believers have been victims and this that i want to just share with you now i think has caused more damage in the life of many believers as far as our results are concerned that we would never imagine praise the lord and so my assignment is to open us up so that we will lift that lead and trust the lord to invade our lives second timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 i want to talk very briefly on victory over the spirit of fear victory over the spirit of fear fear is a phenomenon that as human beings we have been psychologically speaking we have been taught to be used to it we have given it a lot of intelligent explanations we have incorporated it as part of our lives are we together different teachings have come uh, especially in the area of dealing with fear medical people will tell you that fear has a great impact on the health and the well-being of an individual that an individual can literally die as a result of fear not gunshot not um, some act of terrorism and whatever it is fear and when you want to walk by faith please listen i'm just not saying faith just to receive a miracle the bible says the just shall live by faith say it after me the just shall live by faith that means your exploits and my exploits in the kingdom will be predicated upon my ability to not only engage faith momentarily to receive a result but that it becomes my lifestyle are we together to walk in faith means to walk in understanding to walk in faith means to walk in obedience to walk in faith means to walk in courage all of the aspects that together cause a man to produce results the end of faith is a performance there may be a period between prophecy you're engaging the principles and the manifestation but there should be a performance hallelujah and i have noticed that one of the obstacles we don't deal with it because we don't care that destroy a lot of people is the spirit of fear second timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 paul is teaching his son timothy in the gospel and this is what he says for god had not given us stop there for god had not given us the bible is very open about the things god gave us i just read for you the things that he received for us when the bible says god did not give you something and it is at work in your life it means that another personality or agency has communicated that is that true the bible says it didn't say for we don't have it said for god has not given us meaning it is not in the character of god to give men an attribute that will frustrate their faith it is not in the character of god to plant fear in men reverence is not fear reverence is respect the spirit of reverence that the bible calls the fear of the lord but this fear is timidity intimidation the psychological burden that comes as a result of many factors that i'm going to be explaining to you the bible says for god has not given us the spirit of fear so the first revelation here is that fear is a spirit 
it's not just a psychological thing uh -uh. there is a spirit called the spirit of fear what do you think the assignment of that spirit is to manifest its characteristic in whoever finds himself as the victim is that true when the spirit of poverty is in an individual it will leave out its characteristic when the spirit of infirmity is in an individual it will leave out its characteristic so when the spirit of fear is in an individual the same way when the spirit of power of might is upon an individual you will see the manifestation and the bible says god has not given us this spirit so there is a certain spirit that roams around the earth called the spirit of fear are we together but there are also three kinds of spirits too he says he has not given us so he's dealing with giving spirits here are we together now he's just telling you which spirit he has not given you that i have not given you the spirit of fear and then he says but the spirit of power the spirit of love and the spirit of a sound mind the whole scripture there is talking about spirits that can be given to men so when you see a man exhibiting power there is a spirit behind it when you see love there is a spirit behind it and when you see a sound mind much more than access to information there is a spirit that ensures that your mind attains a level of renewal sufficient to cause the word of god to work in your life there is such a spirit the spirit of a sound mind is what the bible calls the spirit of understanding are we together the bible says it shall make you of quick understanding isaiah 11. why do people fear there is only one reason you will be surprised why satan is so interested in giving us fear first and foremost let me just back up a little and say this i wrote this down and i want us to is I, I wrote here that fear is given and like any other gift it can be received or rejected is that true the bible says as many as received him that means not everybody will receive him but to those who receive him there is an effect he gave them power to become so every time you receive a thing together with that reception is power to become god has not given us that means if another personality satan being the chiefest of them gives us the spirit of fear we have a right to reject it our society is full of men and women who live perpetually in fear many of us seated looking at me now inside outside those following online we live in fear fear has stopped people from sleeping fear has stopped people from going to the hospital to find out what is wrong with them listen carefully fear has stopped people from taking giant strides to get out of poverty fear has stopped people from doing things that have never been done it's a spirit and this spirit like every other demonic spirit has an assignment are we together now yes just like faith is a spirit it says we then having the same spirit of faith there is a character to faith when that spirit is upon you the spirit of faith has an assignment it empowers you to believe god to engage the relevant forces as commanded by god and compels god's integrity to speak on your behalf is that true so also the spirit of fear it can be received it can be rejected we fear so many things in our society we fear success interestingly we fear failure we fear um, traveling from one place to the other we fear bad news we fear all kinds of things there is a spirit all of a sudden you feel a little pain on your legs and here comes the spirit of fear listen now let me show you how this spirit works the spirit of fear will come and say huh your legs remember the documentary you saw where someone's legs started rotting you see how the spirit of fear takes advantage of your imagination are we together now like the ladies who were sharing their testimony here the spirit of fear 
some of you are here seated right now probably overflow maybe one two three or online and the devil is planting fear you are too far the anointing will not touch you and you say ah that's true you are seated here now wondering will i receive this is the last miracle service what if god does not visit me manifestations of the spirit of fear there are people who will never make progress in their lives because of fear there are people who will not travel because of fear why does satan use fear i want to tell you now satan first and foremost gives fear to gain access to your imagination and expectation listen carefully the primary purpose of fear is satan's way of finding a system where he can reach your imagination and to alter your expectation mm. fear is creative in its operation there's nobody who is afraid without engaging the power of creativity fear will always give you pictures fear will act dramas in your mind if you don't have a mind fear will be powerless in your life the purpose of fear is that it starts from the realm of the spirit but then it it seeks to find expression in your mind to uh, to get to your faculties of creativity and to begin to alter your imaginations listen carefully and to alter your expectations because satan knows that it is a law that the thing you hold in your mind truly will come to pass are you seeing the purpose of fear now so when you sit down and you want to enter a room and all of a sudden you are thinking what if i enter and somebody closes my eyes notice how powerful your image even if you are not not to insult you but even if you don't feel you are that smart all of a sudden you are an excellent movie maker you are imagining a hand touching your eyes and it's so real and you just say let me leave you see you acted satan acted a drama and stopped you correct yes this is how the devil has manipulated the destinies of people he may not come directly but he uses fear fear is a powerful spirit let me tell you this every other spirit is helpless until fear prevails i want you to believe this every other spirit joins a queue waiting and hoping most people will not admit that it is fear that is motivating their activities but it is it is yes it is when a student does malpractice what is responsible fear something in that student tells the student look if you go the way you are going for sure you are going to be in hot water and so he begins to fabricate strategies to manage the fear hmm. why do you hear a sound bam in your zinc and all of a sudden you are moving and you know sometimes we pray all kinds of prayers that we really think are are faith you know are faith filled prayers but they are simply spiritual ways of saying i am afraid like blood of jesus like holy ghost fire there is holy ghost fire that is real holy ghost fire there is holy ghost fire that what you are saying in the realm of the spirit is lord i'm confused what is really going on here that you mention holy ghost does not mean that is are you saying that now fear <clears throat> i know this very well because i lived in it mm. yes i lived in it fear is dangerous it short circuits your potential there are people who would do greater than they are doing now if only they had the grace and the understanding to overcome fear how does fear work let me show you something job chapter 3 verse 25 this was job's own testimony 3 verse 25 then i'll quickly teach you how fear works is god helping us so we've established that fear is a spirit job chapter 3 and verse 25 we've established the fact that fear is a spirit someone help our children they're really enjoying themselves around and uh... hallelujah job chapter 3 and verse 25 read with me one to read for the thing which i greatly feared stop for what there was an object otherwise fear was not there the thing 
which I greatly feared did what? Uh huh. And that which I was afraid of. So, Paul, I mean, um, Job gives fear a magnetic property that when you begin to fear, it has an effect. It can attract to your life the very thing you are afraid of. We fear failure. That's why we fail. Fear is expectation. It takes advantage of your imagination. You will think you are rejecting it. But you think upon it, it controls your life. What if they now say, I have cancer? This one that I watched, I watched a movie that says eating cabbage is wrong. How many of these things are by eating? I've gone to the farm eating one whole cabbage by myself. Maybe I have cancer. And then you just think. And all of a sudden, pain manifests from nowhere. Pain that should not be there. And you just touch and, ah, what is this boil about? And they will say, are you joking? You better go and read it up. You go to Google. Symptoms of cancer enter. And you find out many other people like you around the world that fear is prevailing over. And they say it can start. Sometimes it can look like a boil. And they will say, that's it. Let me tell you. Listen, listen, listen. While you laugh, pay attention. You will be surprised. A spirit will enter that boil and turn something that you would have squeezed with your hand to a real cancer. That thing had no power to become cancerous. Your partnership with fear active. It added a spirit to that thing. Remember James taught us chapter 2, 26 that a body without a spirit is dead. That thing was just a body but a spirit entered it and the growth became unusual. And all of a sudden, I will tell you, oh, this is it. And you say, you see, I knew it. See, I've been telling you. You are right. You have been saying it. Because whatever you say, think upon is what will become your reality. The spirit of fear. Hmm. See, when you understand what fear is, you begin to understand the keys of the kingdom like praise. And the things that they do to you is much more than dancing. Satan attempts to give us fear by causing us to walk in the realm of the flesh, the senses. Satan's domain of operation is the flesh, senses. Now, the senses are not wrong. They are the physical faculties God has given to find expression. But Satan will take advantage. The Bible says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace to be carnally minded to be ruled by your senses when things work physically you are happy when things don't work well you are angry correct when there is money in your pocket you are joyful you are carnal the bible says you are walking in the flesh you are governed by your sensory perceptions and not by the word of god Our society is full of people. You can almost know when someone has not collected a salary. One day past salary time. Everything about that. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that people should not receive salaries, but you can always know. Even if the person has one million in his account, he has been taught to respond to the senses. So you will know what is wrong. What do you mean what is wrong? What is today's date? And you, you see all of that. Are we together? We have been taught. We have carried our hearts and put them on our faces. People can almost predict with no kind of psychological aid. You are not feeling happy. What's wrong? Say, what do you mean what's wrong? Yeah, the restaurant is closed. You know, what is wrong? This and that has happened. And we justify these things to mean that we have a right to express ourselves. We do not know that we walk in the flesh at our detriment. Satan is the master of the flesh realm. When you dwell in the realm of the senses, where he can manipulate you using sensory perceptions, he will win over you a thousand times. Are we together? The realm of true victory for a spiritual man is being spiritual. So every time people see, that's why the Bible says rejoice in the Lord. How many times? And again, I repeat, rejoice. Rejoice. So you see someone happy all the time. And you are wondering, ah, ah, 
now wow this 2017 is really wonderful for you and then the person tells you a story that you'll be surprised do you know that this year they stole my car they stole my house they stole my land and you say this is like your happiest year say i found a revelation that if i reduce myself to the realm of the senses i authorize darkness to prevail over me am i not human should i not cry what is all this nonsense joshua sell my mind yourself you see is this kind of societal talk we think it's a very nice talk it attracts empathy with together with that empathy fear joins them and comes to wreck your life say i refuse to walk by my senses say it again i refuse to walk by my senses i walk by the word of god see you don't you don't respond just when physical things change you respond based on the word of god this is what makes a man spiritual it's not just praying in tongues and lifting wheelchairs it's the ability to have worked with the holy spirit to so discipline your faculties of expression that the effect of the physical realm on your spiritual life is almost is minimal are we together yes when satan would want jesus to talk he would keep quiet legitimate reason to talk and he would keep quiet on the cross you think he would be angry and there he looks and says look father forgive them for they know not what they are doing that's a spiritual man fear thrives upon our carnality our ability to consistently dwell in the realm of the flesh we become victims of the physical environment and i told you this there are too many things brothers and sisters in within one hour in the world we live in today there are too many things that will manipulate you to a point where you no longer trust god are we together just put on the news whether it's the internet radio whatever and you are hearing a sad story are we together call your loved ones and they tell you hey it has happened say what has happened just they just caught the call they call me back first and you're wondering what what is happening now hallelujah listen brothers and sisters responding carnally empowers satan i'm i'm teaching you this you must get this responding to life sensually gives satan an edge over your life i will sing I will praise even in my darkest hour through the sorrow and the pain I will see and I will praise I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I will see that's that's a spiritual man that's a spiritual man don't make fear make you an object of pity everybody looks at you and says ah uh -uh. oh you are the orphan they talk about you say yes yeah, so my father is late my mother is late i sympathize with you but brothers and sisters there is a way to victory in life kabbalah kotaya the bible says listen it says and this is the victory that overcometh the world even your faith brothers and sisters there is a way we can exempt ourselves in life but the starting point is to conquer fear it's to conquer fear men of god will make you afraid they will attempt to impart their limitations upon you and make it look as if that's how god operates i reject fear in my life I reject fear in my life I have no business with fear the spirit of faith is at work in me oh, 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 oh. victory belongs to Jesus victory belongs to him oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Him. One more time. Oh, 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 o
Job was a man who there is no human being who will go through what Job went through and not be afraid in one day everything your estate disappears in one day seven of your children disappear in one day your fortune everything and job sat down as if that were not enough boils began to grow dogs would come and lick job job was an object of pity and while he sat down there the wife looked at him one day and said job is there hope for you i'm your wife i said i do but now i'm job i still do but you, there's there's nothing you are it's, it's over and job looked and said though he slay me though he slay me shaparakotaya i searched for an explanation but since i did not find though he slay me yet will i trust him i imagine when job had double i wonder what his mocker said because i believe they were still alive let me tell you something i tell you before december ends some of you some people will see you and bend their head because the, the stories they have said listen the things that they have said around you listen hold on and they were right except god intervenes what they have said is so predictable ah but the god who can turn around turn things listen in my little life i don't boast to know god too well but i've seen the bible say oh taste and see brothers and sisters in my little life i have seen this god who can arise right god god my brother when god arises for even you the recipient will sit down and say what is this the bible says when the lord again turn our captivity I have seen families that this year january they were beggars but today give them one million you have insulted them january this year i've seen it i'm not talking of job this is what god can do i've seen people who based on their medical report they should not even reach june they may not share it with others by the privilege of the ministry god has given me i get to talk to people they don't hide anything from me there are times i've seen medical reports that have challenged me myself and i said my god and they come with confidence and say sir i know listen if you don't conquer fear as a man of god you won't go far because i told you God talks to men like he's talking to himself. He will never tell you what you can do. He will tell you what he can do. Is God speaking to someone tonight? Fear is a spirit. Yes, I know there are nine of you in your family. You have watched everybody become a failure. As soon as you graduate, the devil turns your certificate like tissue paper. And then God has been showing you in the dreams like Joseph that you will be the savior and you say oh god just let my marriage just work that's all i'm asking and god is saying no don't be like gideon don't be like gideon when he appeared to gideon gideon said no 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 no, don't talk about me i'm the least in my family coming from the least tribe and god says that's why i'm here the spirit of fear has destroyed businesses the spirit of, let me tell you how the spirit of fear works he uses something that is real in your life as the basis for stopping you to rise high are we together so god says come darling god says i'm going to make you a great lady and then satan reminds you where was god when you were failing yesterday you see how fear works and you first you say no 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 abba god is faithful but later when you sit down he said truly god where were you all because i remember fasting 21 days it was after the 21 days fasting that i failed god where were you that now that i'm not even fasting you are the interesting thing about god eh? let me tell you after a challenging season in your life when god comes he doesn't discuss it he just continues from where he stopped hi this god 
God told you you'll be in ministry for five years, you have only two members. When God comes, he says, all right, bring the notebook I spoke to you about three years. Let's continue. I say, God, I want to let you know that two of my members are leaving. You will never hear him answer you. He just says, let's continue. Because you see, in God's word, whether past, present, delay, they mean nonsense to him. A thousand years is one day. So if he says, I am blessing you today, even if it's five years, it still is today. The day his word comes, it will make up for it. Satan uses something obvious. Obvious. Remember the other time you claimed that you, you don't have any sickness. Now you went to the hospital. Were you blind when the doctors were telling now I'm not against doctors, I love them so much. Were you blind when the doctors told you that you don't have a womb? And you are trying to trust God in the name of Jesus and all of a sudden they bring out the medical report and you see something that was written there that while you were growing up developing as a lady something happened and altered your womb and there is no possibility for you to even take in and Satan says I rest my case let me tell you what a man of faith will do I know God who is mighty mighty the raw material for creating his re any reality is his word he says through faith we understand we understand that the walls were framed the physical structure was framed by the word of god listen don't think i don't know what i'm saying brothers and sisters we must conquer the spirit of fear if this is all that happens to you tonight even if we round up now it has been a successful service you will go back and wonder i want you to just sit down please sit down and think in one minute what fear has done in your life there are many of us god told you this is your destiny helper go and meet him you were almost there have you seen people like that they knock the office as soon as the man opened god said speak how many brothers i would have entered a very godly relationship but fear stopped them you are almost there and the lady comes and you just pass say no i was picking something on the ground and you go back and say ah oh god after fasting and praying fear how many businesses should have started and risen but fear keeps them down so many people who would have risen but fear satan manifests fear through different things including men of god including our loved ones they say look uh, my dear i know you are a lady thank god for your ambition i know that that young man has been indoctrinating you people but let me tell you this is how life works eh? go on, better go and greet that man when you greet him you know a and b and c and d and then they confuse you and look how many graduates finish from powerful places like zaria and other places one year after they get out of this place when you see them all the dreams some of you are ashamed to open the notebooks that you had four five years ago because you don't believe anything you wrote here again gone are the days where you would write anything some of you now your prayer request you have 10 prayer requests but the one on your card is only two because say god let me not disgrace myself again if you do this two for me i'm grateful please pick up your card and write more lord my hair is falling it must stop ah is that god's business god is too busy who told you write it are we together the spirit of fear the spirit of fear life can intimidate us in such a way you you need to see how people laugh at spiritual people when you step out of the church circle you know last week i was i was i was somewhere and then um i was having a discussion with with a, a gentleman and the sarcasm that he had for spiritual things it was like all these church people and he will mimic pastors and laugh and i felt irritated i was just waiting to finish with him is somebody that i came to just to honor and i said let me get out of this place this guy has a, a this all these politicians very lousy sarcasm for you're a politician here i love you but i mean very funny funny attitude towards pastors they make it look like we are joking and some of you that's exactly how you are after you finish jumping here when you step out you now become ashamed of everything you did 
That's why bloggers write all kinds of things and say, men of God, turn people to children. How can you just be talking like a parrot? And a man of God says, pray. And you are praying and talking like a parrot. And we live and fear. The fear to sustain your convictions. Your phone rings in a restaurant. Jesus is Lord and you quickly off it because you don't want to raise any dust here. And they say, you, pastor, is you Abby? And then they start telling you stories about pastors, stories about all kinds of people. Oh, you are the sister I was saying. You will not marry. Continue all this sister thing you are doing. And when they say it, you just sit down feeling guilty for loving and following God. Shout no way. No Go and read your Bible and see the destiny of those who mocked God. From Pharaoh to Nebuchadnezzar to Herod to Jezebel. All of their destinies were a straight line predictable mark the wicked the bible says are we together god has not given us the spirit of fear romans chapter 4 from verse 18 to 21 what is the cure for fear let's examine the father of faith abraham romans chapter 4 from verse 18 to 21 please give it to us media the bible speaking about abraham this was a man who was trusting God, had received the promise that his seed, you know, talking about Isaac and then Christ prophetically. It says, who against hope? Now, watch the character of faith. I've shared with you, you can get the teaching, the series we've done on faith, that the starting point of faith is always the presence of a supposed impossibility. That's the starting point of your journey. There's no need to have faith over something that is already your experience. It says, who against hope did what? Believed in hope that he might become the father of nations according to that which was spoken. Go ahead. And being not weak in faith, he considered not. This is, this is how, I want to show you how fear works. It begins to bring logic into your faith process. Put two and two, you two use your head. Apostle is just prophesying and saying before the end of this year you will be a millionaire and you have the stupidity to say amen you see that you are considering not just considering you are considering in a doubtful way to believe that that breast lump will just disappear within a few minutes to believe that God will turn around your life bring a helper to your destiny and wipe your tears He considered not. That's the first thing the spirit of fear does. It makes you to begin to consider. You say, okay, it's not like I don't believe, but come on. Is it not that class I graduated with? Abba. Let's be real. You hear that? Let's be real. I read so, so, so. I graduated with that class. Abba. And you ask your roommate or anybody. And say, if, even if it's you, will you employ me? He said, I won't employ you. Let me just tell you the truth. I will say my mind. You see how people say it. And they think it's a very wise statement. Me, I will tell you my own church mind. I won't do this and, and that. And then you carry that certificate and look at it. And say, God, is this how you are planned to disgrace me? And you drop it back and say, it's over. And God says, ah, ah. You took me out of this equation and you are just being frustrated like that? Consider not. Brothers and sisters, when God speaks to you, take your eyes away from the reasons why it will not come to pass and keep your eyes there. Let God apologize to you for failing you, but on your own part, remain there. Are we together? He considered not his own body. When he was 100 years old, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. 20. Number two, he staggered not. Staggered not. This is what the Bible calls, Apostle James calls it a double-minded person. Do you know what a double-minded person is? Inventing options as a result of fear. Inventing options. Lord, this is it. I am trusting you. This is what you are going to do. Lord, I'm trusting you. I'm taking this direction. And all of a sudden, because of fear, all of a sudden you start fabricating plan B, plan C, plan D. Some of these things we do and we think they are proofs of wisdom. No, sir. 
if god tells you i will make you a nation brothers and sisters even if you are inside a hut believe him no plan b men of faith are those who burn the bridges behind them like esther if i perish i perish this is how i walk with god there's no possibility of plan b if god tells me son this is how we are going i say lord let's go if there is fire there i remember shadrach meshach and abednego and i walk through that fire that's what it takes to be a man of faith organizing a miracle service like this is suicidal you must be a man of faith you don't know the cases and the problems and the challenges that people have what then gives you the audacity to call nations together and assure them that they will experience the power of god it takes faith are we together you start a business it takes faith who gave you a guarantee that they will like your products or your services and you have the audacity to commit funds commit structures commit leadership and then open up and say okay the whole world come and be blessed he staggered not some of you are already staggering lord i trust you but tall staggered not but was strong in faith giving glory to god giving glory another word is giving praise giving praise full of praise 21 the last verse this was the third thing that he did and this is the third thing that fear does remember the first thing fear does is that you begin to consider brings logic into your spiritual process are we together number two is that it causes you to stagger and then number three it begins to dwindle your persuasion the bible says i'm being fully persuaded conviction but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded it was paul who said i am persuaded that neither life nor death nor this and that and that he i'm being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able now hold on very powerful scripture that what he promised he was also what that means you the, when satan begins to bring fear the first thing that suffers is your revelation of god's ability 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 he uses your senses to attack god's ability listen listen to me um let me use someone come sam now watch this sam if i say i'm going to give you let's say hundred thousand naira, the first thing you do is to look at me in your mind and in whatever parameter and you believe if i say i'm going to give you one million you will look if i say i'm going to give you 10 million if i say i'm going to give you 100 million that's how that conviction will start dwindling then if i say sam by next week you're going to carry a private jet the, your mind will just there will be no there's no provision in your mind to believe it. you are not even going to receive it are we together you will respectfully laugh but the truth is that you don't even believe him now you may not know but that you're laughing it looks like an it's like the kiss of judas a kiss is a good thing until somebody uses it as a strategy to chain you judas kissed jesus and said this is the guy so you can laugh the bible says mary had dwelt good like medicine but that laugh is not a laugh of faith that laugh is a laugh of doubt because you think i wouldn't do it like sarah's laughter are we together now and so when god says sam i'm going to change your life fear comes what does fear do he says look if god said he was going to give you a new shoe it makes sense god can raise somebody in koinonia but god says he's giving you a house by december is his god is god stupid that's fear talking to you and you sit and say i believe a shoe but i don't believe a house then you limit god like they did in the wilderness and only a shoe comes to you and comes to validate the limitation you placed on god but that does not mean he could not give you a house that does not mean he could not build a great destiny for you brothers and sisters tonight as we trust god we're going to do a very quick work here i want you to take away fear from your life fear of finances now that you know the whole recession is on people fear do you know one of the major reasons why people are poor i'm telling you this it's not because they are lazy it's because of the fear of it they think about lack so much they expect it it comes to them 
All wealthy people are courageous people. They believe. When God says, I'm going to bless you, you just sit down and think and say, which of my uncles, Uncle James, poor, uh, Uncle Sivanus, poor, the other, my father's younger brother, poor. Oh God, how are you going to now help me? You see that? My elder brother that was working in January, they now sacked him. God, I will 100,000 come. And God looks at you and says, with all you have been learning in Koinonia, this is how much you believe me. But there are people who will say, Lord, whether I believe you or not, there's no option. So now I'm, I'm, I trust you. Do anything you can do. And all of a, a sudden, strangers will come and feed your flock and say, I don't know you, sister. But while Koinonia was going on, you even, you just look at it and say, no, 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 don't be afraid. God just told me, please come and see me in my office tomorrow. And he said, what is this? He said, God gave me an instruction. Gone are the days where people get testimonies and say, God told somebody to do this. You know, there used to be times like that where God is. Now you don't hear those things because we don't believe it. We have brought carnality to our lives. You don't ever believe God directs men. We believe Satan sends men, but we don't believe God directs men. I want you to live in that reality where you believe, reject fear. My sister, my brother, hear me. Reject fear. Satan prevails over your life with fear. Brothers and sisters, especially our gentlemen, fear of establishment. When will I get, how much is one bag of nangotesement? And you start calculating, you are considering. That's fear. Does, you are not planning. That one is not planning. Planning is correct. You are putting a plan to dance around it and rejoice. But fear, now say, use your brain. How much is one, one plot of land? You see that? You now put it, how much is two plots? How much is a good car? How much is dowry? How much is, is uh, uh, furniture? When you calculate everything, you say, according to my modest calculation, it's nine million, and you laugh. You just throw it away and say, look, let me just thank God. You think that was an act of faith. A man of faith says, Lord, I do not know how the wind will come. Kabbalah kataya. I don't know how the rain will come, but I learned from scripture that you received for me power. Listen, let me teach you. There is a way you can frustrate Satan. You stagger not. Lord, I don't know how it will happen, but I know. Satan wants to bring something, another scripture just wells up. Ah. But is it not God that you trusted yesterday that you fell? Remember not the former things. That's why you must be full of the word to walk in faith. That every time Satan comes, it is written, shoots out of you like an arrow. It is written. It is written. It is written. Ah, when you failed yesterday, where was God? And then he says, for your shame, I will give you double. Good reply for a spirit. Is it not you that everybody saw you and left you? Just looked at you and said you are a nobody. And the Bible says, where men have deserted you so that no man passes through you, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. With the limitation, how are you going to go abroad? Are you not seeing if you ever, if you go around the embassy, they will so kick you out of that place. And you sit down and remember Joseph that he was in the prison. And the Bible says, and the king, not the king's aid, the king himself sent for him. Kings can send for mean men and transform their lives. Hmm. When you are not full of the word, when pressure pushes at you, all that will come out is culture. All that will come out is all of these things. Brothers and sisters, God is going to do a quick work tonight. It's our last miracle service, but I want you, please and please, I want you to join me, believe this God. He is believable. He is reliable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God can change the stories of people. Please, do not let anyone mock you. Oh, we are in a strange season where God is changing people's lives overnight. Overnight. This overnight dimension, I know in my spirit that people are entering it. Overnight. When you see someone who was already on his way to being successful, it's not strange. But somebody overnight... Is Saul also one of the prophets? What happened to him overnight? Saul, I thought you were looking for your father's donkey. And Saul says, I encountered Samuel. And an anointing came upon me. And all of a sudden, things started happening. 
Hallelujah. God did something in my life today that almost brought tears out of my eyes. I just sat down and I, I almost fought tears and fought tears and I said, God, you are dependable. You are truly dependable. Brothers and sisters, I want to bring you to a realm where after you leave this, you will never say one thing in church and say another. You don't have to fight with people. When people come with their sarcasm, just keep quiet. A settled reality. If I die trusting him, I die. But God is able. Somebody say God is able. Say it again. God is able. All our problems as human beings can be classified into seven categories and only seven categories i won't go there because of time but the the challenges we are facing are not new it's from health am i right to money to breakthrough to deliverance to all of these things which one of them does not have a representation in the word of god is it your rent is it the time of famine are we together is it the breakthrough is it the limitations Brothers and sisters, my God is able. My God is able. I don't know about your own God, but my God is able. I believe him. And I'm not going to give room for the devil. Listen. Listen. This scientific Christianity, we must, we must rise beyond that realm of science. And trust God. Tell me how the clouds stay without a pillar. Nobody has ever renovated the cloud to readjust. It stays by itself. Hmm. God spoke to Job tell me how you can give the rivers borders and say thus far have you come no further shall you go this is the God we serve if you doubt if God can look men look at my life look at my life brothers and sisters I came tonight to challenge you to believe this God. You can sit down and continue arguing and laughing at those who are engaging their faith and turn and see that you are 40 years, 45, and there is no result whatsoever because it never happens by magic. Blessed is she that believes, both in the open and in the secret. Blessed is she that believes, for unto her alone, there shall be a performance this christianity that you trust god in the open and then in the secret you laugh you are sarcastic no no i believe him i believe him he has earned my trust i believe him i believe him i believe him tonight to heal the sick i believe him tonight to cast out devils i believe him brothers and sisters i know that you may have gone through several things some of us here there are dreams that have died you have buried it but i want you to rise up again and to tell yourself i will make it take it down for me let's sing one song before we disgrace the devil in this place what's that song um you don't have to worry you know the song and don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles may not last away listen to the song carefully there's a man in jesus who will wipe your tears away and if your heart is broken shabala kataya just lift your hands hey, i know that i can make it i know that i can stand i know that i can stand no matter what no matter what may come my way, way. My, life is in my life to see the hands with Jesus I can make it. With Jesus I with can Jesus make it. With Jesus I can make it. With Him I know I can stand. With Him I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in Your hands. Hallelujah. Listen, there is no giving up in this kingdom. There is no. Did you hear what I said? There is no giving up in this kingdom. I want you to go back to the archives of the things you have left and say, Lord, I'm taking it back. That dream, that business, 
I started it by January by March I was crying but at your word I'm going back again I'm going back you are faithful let them laugh at you you know hold on please I was studying um, I think it was last week or so I was just studying a video on the great inventors the top was it 10 or 20 inventors in our world you know right from the time recorded history and I was reading through their lives one by one I only got to number five or six and I stopped and I told myself I said Joshua Selman don't you ever complain again I said my God why didn't they teach us the obstacles that this man had to cross why do we approach our lives as though something unusual happened go and read about their lives the history makers and see how they smash records when people told them you will not make it they said my life's goal is to prove to you and many of them were Christians brothers and sisters the Bible says that unto principalities and powers that it will be shown the manifold wisdom the manifold wisdom you don't look like it but that's why it's called his grace you don't look like it until his hand comes upon you and they say why you and you say go and ask him oh go and ask him go and ask him i'm motivating somebody and i'm speaking to you let me tell you something brothers and sisters god is dependable kill fear in your life when we start to pray i like you to pray with all your heart and as you pray i like you to trust god you may feel the pain of the sickness but as you pray you warn it and say just a few minutes i will only be patient with you for a few more minutes and you are leaving my body and living forever you may not be sick in your body but you have myriads of issues that only god can step in financial issues health issues i like you to bring it before the god of your salvation and say god i know you are able oh. i don't know how you will do it witchcraft in your family demonic things and say lord it will end i know it I know it no job no destiny no joy he said I'm, I'm before you I'm not before a herbalist I know my God is able open your mouth in one minute personally talk to him if you have to talk to him in your language go ahead <laughs> those outside pray lord i believe you once again hallelujah i believe you once again the god of my salvation the god of jeshuron i believe you again for my family i believe you again for my academics I believe you again for my marriage. I believe you again for my children. I believe you for my finances. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. You are dependable. You are reliable. Talk to him. Tonight is a night where my dreams are coming alive again that anointing that ministry that business in the name of jesus in spite of the mockery in spite of the shame in spite of the mistakes in spite of the setbacks in spite of the failure i arise like a giant rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet will i rise yet will i rise my god is still alive i know his name jesus the son of the living god pray i came to him the one who can change my life change my ministry You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. 
You are here Wiping every tear I worship you I worship you Way make a miracle walk Promise me Light in the darkness that is who you are. We may go, we may Promise, give Promise, give light in the darkness. That is who you are. Listen, listen to me. Don't ask how it will happen. When I stepped in, I heard, I heard, I think it was Mary. I have followed the issue of her dad when some of us here are related to police people and all of that i'm just using her story for an illustration when she told me about the miracle that happened i said god i fear you because what was happening they were supposed to shoot and kill her dad that's the punishment for the supposed offense but when he steps in this is my god god is not a man or oh god is not your neighbor god is not a landlord God is not a president. He's not a governor. God is not an ambassador. God all by himself. When he steps in, all of a sudden he begins to shift things. Listen, brothers and sisters, hear me. I want you to believe God to shift things. This is, this is my assignment. Believe him to push things in your life. In one minute, I'd like you to mention every challenge you came here with and say lord i believe you you will change it go ahead go ahead and pray lord i believe you you will change my financial situation lord i believe you you can send helpers my way men are still on earth lord i believe you you can lift me lord i believe you you can give my life speed if you came here for this service tonight pray pray i believe you Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him at night. Thy kingdom come. I will be done. Hello, him Hello, him Hello, hallelujah tonight is the last miracle service for the year please i don't want you to miss out on anything there is a very very strong anointing to bring performance performance listen 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 to me please now you see because of the nature of the miracle service some of you want i may not be able to call everybody one by one to speak to you the purpose of calling is just to give the holy spirit room to address as he brings but let me tell you this i've told you again and again 
calling people and talking and all of that is you can see how, how much time sometimes can be spent talking to one person the most important thing is that your faith is released to say lord turn my life around listen don't pray a cheap prayer tonight lord turn everything around 180 degrees turn it around turn it around turn it around let my life change it is within your power to make it happen hallelujah hallelujah now listen we are going to start tonight praying for the sick first there is a very strong healing anointing in this place and we are going to pray for the sick brothers and sisters i want you to believe god that any demonic thing that has latched onto you it must leave you sickness is not the will of god not near it are we together sickness is not the will of god and shortly i'm going to be asking sick people to come out in all of the overflows i want us to focus on sick people and pray all the other things we can do a quick work but it takes a lot of time to minister to the sick and we're going to do this very fast but i want you to maintain an attitude of prayer but before then i want you to lift your hands please i want to pray lift your hands i want to pray tonight is a night of breakthrough we are coming there, but I have to pray. I have to pray for breakthrough. Hallelujah. Just keep your hands. Don't say anything. Don't do anything. Hallelujah. Keep your hands, please. Let's just walk with the Spirit of God. Breakthrough. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Now, when, when you hear me say this, it's not just about those who fall under the anointing and shout. The falling under the anointing is just an evidence it, it doesn't it, it has totally nothing about it's for you to receive it doesn't mean that you see someone fall under the anointing and say wow this is the one god is touching no i'm teaching you how to receive you receive by faith it has nothing to do with falling or not falling are we together now you receive by faith what is breakthrough the grace that smashes the limitations that stands before you so that you move forward there is a grace that does that i want to pray for you now jesus i see fire that's what i'm seeing this is this is I'm, i don't know what kind of flame what color this is now but i'm seeing that grace inside and outside right now i stretch my hands it's coming on people right now receive it now don't worry i stretch it just keep your hands lifted right now it's coming on people overflow one two three right up those online is a grace don't say anything just lift your hands that grace is coming on people i'm telling you i'm seeing doors these are like doors I, i've seen this many times but these are like chains chains doors opening i'm stretching my hands to you right now let's just allow god to do what he's doing shabakata the breakthrough grace the breaker anointing changing people's lives changing people's lives changing people's lives right now in the name of jesus receive it all over this building all over the overflows all over the overflows enough is enough enough is enough of those challenges thank you jesus thank you jesus keep your hands lifted don't worry we're going to do a, a quick walk god is bringing something he's still bringing breakthrough and the lord is telling me to tell those people that this grace is coming upon i'm hearing in my spirit december 2nd this is from now till that time december 2nd a strange walk strange walk of the spirit strange walk the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace you don't have to bring them out we're going to ask the sick to come just hold them breakthrough grace i stretch my hands breakthrough grace there are families that must enter this anointing now enough is enough said the spirit of god there are families that must enter this anointing 
I provoke that grace let it cross borders in the spirit and go to families families Shabbatakata. families Lord bring them into this grace families the overflow three I'm seeing God touch a lot of people there this breakthrough anointing overflow three overflow three there is a strange move of the spirit happening there God is touching people this breakthrough anointing many of us need breakthrough we don't even know we need it impossibilities turning impossibilities turning breakthrough breakthrough let's just allow that grace land and we'll pray for the sick breakthrough you will be surprised to see the testimonies that will rise from it breakthrough i stretch my hands again breakthrough that grace that grace that grace shabata skapara shubreskelea breakthrough that breakthrough grace I'm seeing a few people, I'm seeing fire rising from their feet. This is still breakthrough. This is still breakthrough. F fire rising like from a man's legs upward. Fire. At least 17 people I'm seeing scattered across. In the name of Jesus, let it rise. Lord, their destinies are at the mercy of these encounters. Let's just participate and allow the Lord to do what he's doing. Parakota Segedekata Sholeasa Mabreketea is a river that fire burning every chaff is a year of triumph. It must happen to you. It must happen to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray for the sick. I'm praying for the sick first because the Lord is going to move in a very, very prophetic way in this place tonight. And I want us to pray for the sick very fast. Now watch this. Please, if you're sick in your body, you came here for a miracle. Overflow. Uh, let's see. Those in overflow one. Those under the anointing, just let them be. Those in overflow one. You're going to come out here. Um, okay. Inside i'm part of overflow too the ones at the roadside maybe half of it you can join them and come here if you are trusting god for a terminal disease now a terminal disease is something that is somewhat a death sentence please whether you are in overflow one two or three i want to lay hands on you by myself a terminal disease a termin that means something that is a death sentence you know maybe uh, hiv aids or a cancer or something like that and please don't just come let's not crowd this place there are ministers that are going to be ministering overflow one come um out at your projector stand inside here come out part of overflow two join them and then the remaining go to the front of your projector outside overflow three i want all of you to come up and we're going to pray very very fast it's going to be a very quick walk god bless you quickly please come now you're coming out come and line up here quickly quickly overflow one please come out quickly while they are doing that i like us to begin to pray and say father let every sickness represented here bow to the name of the lord jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray let every sickness bow to the name of the lord your people have come to you the healer as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we believe Jesus listen 
I want you to believe God for miracles so that you can be perfectly whole to serve the Lord. You must reject sickness from your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please pass away, Jimmy. Um, let's see. You go to overflow three, you and promise overflow three. I think there should be many more people. If there are many more people there, then we may add some other people. Um, Ejimi and Promise will go to overflow three. Um, Pastor Alpha, you are at overflow two. Um, Benga and Kenny, you'll be at overflow one outside. Mike, you join. Um, whoever is you know, going to overflow two. I think that, that would be okay. Those online, release your faith. Go ahead, guys. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare let the corporate grace of the spirit flow in this place let there be signs and wonders through your holy son let there be miracles in the name of jesus let there be signs let there be wonders in jesus name i pray now please listen i don't want you to be distracted remain in that prayer mode as we pray for you i want you to check yourself i want you to do what you couldn't do even as you return to your seat and whilst they are praying god bless you guys go ahead no go fine praise the lord and as soon as we pray then we're going there will be massive deliverance and prophecy here i want us to be as fast as possible the worship team will set the atmosphere for us please everyone i want you to pray you may be seated where you are you are trusting god for the healing of a loved one let's trust the healing anointing and let's let's tap into what god is doing right now father we give you all the praise let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ Father, we thank you. Let there be miracles. I 
Iyanu, Iyanu, Onisha, Onisha, Iyanu, Iyanu, Onisha, Onisha, Iyanu, Iyanu, Onisha, Onisha, Iyanu. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Justina. Our time is gone. Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. We're going to enter a very strong session um, of deliverance and prophecy. We have to be very fast. I'm trying to conserve time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Justina. What's your name? Justina. You had this song that they just raised now. This song now, my beautifier. That's a song for you. That's what God is doing in your life. Stand up. You know how you make a woman up? Maybe when there's wedding or there's a program. I'm looking at plenty of ladies gathering around you and they're doing all these things for your face. Hmm? This is... This is, are you married? God is opening the door of marriage for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Justina. Mama? Justina. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something like oil being put on you. I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare, let that anointing come upon your life. Change your story forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Madam, what's your name? Justina. Justina. Do you know why I'm saying that? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing this woman. I'm seeing you holding a man. You are walking and later on I see you walking alone. Where's your husband? Dead son. Yes. He's what? He's dead. Oh, he's dead, you mean? Um, I want to pray for you. Don't be afraid. Because I'm seeing something that looks like the face of your husband calling you to come. That's not your husband. That's a demon spirit. I have to pray. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. Madam, I want to pray for you. Are we together now? Mm. So I'll lay my hands in the name of Jesus. I avert death from your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything bringing your husband's face to call you is not love. He's dead. He's gone. In the name of Jesus, I separate you. Mama. The Lord is going to... I, I've, I've known this madam and the case in their family, but 
there is a yoke of suffering this is the first time god is showing me this wahala hmm? and god is going to take it away in the name of jesus christ i know about her daughter's issue i've been following up with the family but i look at this woman and the lord said there is a cause of hardship nothing that anybody does really really works it must turn later on and there are many people like that well soon i'm coming to you that thing must leave you i told you about this hardship hardship is one of the major reasons people don't smile hardship is more than poverty praise the lord my mind the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord himself locate you in jesus name i pray amen your name is your sinner where is she where's you okay your mother and your younger sister in the name of jesus the prayer i want to pray for you now i can't remember which miracle service but please just help mama she's under the anointing get a chair or something someone donate your chair let her sit down and calm down god is doing something in her family just keep her somewhere please i've prayed it before but the lord is saying i should tell you again that your family is entering a season of reward it's entering a season of reward entering a season of reward the lord himself will make it happen i'm hearing affinity 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 please make sure it's your name what's your name the affinity i'm talking about is here somewhere um you're younger i'll pray for you affinity this person is outside affinity the Lord is telling me there's somebody outside. Afiniki. Afiniki. If I could appear here as God, what I would tell you based on what I've seen is congratulations. God is going to do something in your life that will surprise you. How many prayer requests did you write? Six. Six. Go outside, read number four very well. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you a finicky? Father, in the name of Jesus, visit this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. This lady, this one, my sister, you, looking at me, come. Please, let's, let's save time. I don't want us to stay here too long. Is this your first time here? You've been coming here. I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Kai, what I'm seeing is not good. Hmm? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing, you know, the horn of a calf. That's what I'm seeing on you. And we have to pray. I'm not saying you're a demon. You get what I'm saying? This is your miracle service is where God sets us free. Hold my hands. Hold it. Hold it with both of your hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, please set this lady free. There are many things wrong, but the Lord is bringing order. In the name of Jesus Christ, I hold your hands now and I judge the horns of wickedness. The horns of wickedness. If I don't pray for you, your life is going to be full of suffering and strange disappointment from men. In the name of Jesus, Zebrakatos Calabriata, I command by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of, Je in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be deliverance for you now. I lay my hands on your head and I decree and declare that everything you are carrying that is not of the Christ, I command it to leave you now. And I pray that every legal access upon which the devil is attempting to destroy your life, I plead the blood on your behalf right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Agnes, 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 Agnes. There's someone with that name. Agnes 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 I wish I had time Kai. Agnes You are Agnes You are what? Who is Agnes here? Who is Agnes? Your mother gave you Agnes. Who is that? Your name is Agnes. Your name is Agnes. I'll pray for you, but I'm seeing Agnes and the Lord. Your Agnes, your mother. 
Are they sisters? Yeah, they are who is this? It's their wife, but they are all sisters. Three of them are sisters. Who is this? She's their brother's wife. She, I'm looking at this, and the Lord is saying, Let's avert. I'm looking at this picture, it's empty, but I'm saying, Rest in peace. Huh? Lord Jesus, by your mercy, she lit. She's alive. I'm not a prophet of doom. I hope you understand. When I see this, is is the Lord trying to avert something. I avert tears from your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you that the Lord will help you. In Jesus' name. There is an impartation that God is giving you. God is bringing you into a dimension of the anointing. It's, it's a strange level of grace that you are going to enter into. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that by this grace, He's going to lift you to a dimension that you have never seen. It will make you a light. I'm seeing a torchlight shining. And the Lord is saying, this is your destiny to come with great illumination. In the name of Jesus, your Agnes, two of you, as I lay my hands on you, whatever the issue is, the Lord is stepping in right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 <sighs> Jesus. How time flies. See, these are some of the things that before you know it, just talking to people and it's already 10 and there is a lot to do right now because we're going to, we're going to pray. There are people who are going to go through very massive deliverance. My sister, this sister holding photos, come. Come. Yes. Come now, my dear. Kai. Uh. I have to pray for you. What I'm seeing. Who is this one again? Agnes. Agnes. Madam, you're Agnes. I have to pray for you. Ah, ah. Where are you coming from? Stretch your hands and pray that this woman will not die. I kept looking at her because I'm seeing burial ceremony happening and I'm seeing her same face inside the coffin. What is this thing with this spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ? Please pray. You may not know how it doesn't matter. In the name of Jesus, we avert death. Hallelujah. Father, I lay my hands on this madam and in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that your grace will preserve her by the power of your spirit. In the name of Jesus. My dear, I want to pray for you. Are you married? Look at me. Look at me. I want to pray for you. There is serious bad luck in your life. You know what they say? Bad luck. Bad luck that at least if some things are happening and other things are not happening, but when there is nothing at all happening in your life, it's not good. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. May the God of all grace, may the God of mercy step in right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of God's grace. Come, darling. Come. This small girl. I keep seeing this girl again and again. God is going to use this girl in a very mighty way. In a very mighty way. Believe me, this forget that you are seeing a little girl god is going to use her in ways that will surprise people father use this lady beyond imagination in the name of jesus let her experience your grace and your power in the name of jesus your grace and your power in the name of jesus there was a man and a woman that were sitting in front here just where i'm standing like an elderly man one one gentleman and a lady where are they please look for them are you together come how are you sir can i pray for you your your first time here this is your first time from where from abuja i want to pray for you god is going to change your story i saw these scenes when i came up it's just that now the lord said minister to them i don't know you never seen you but i want to pray for you let me tell you, sir, except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain. Hmm? Except the Lord builds a house. It doesn't mean, I'm, I'm, what do you do? I'm seeing contracts. 
it will be like it's coming but then it will disappear is that true yes one of the major things that brought you here because you are very skilled and you are very good there was you are supposed to have been a multi-millionaire since last year there is a big contract that god would have given you but for some reason the thing just went even you is still surprising you how that thing did not work is that true you you thought you offended the person you worked with because i noticed it's like you are communicating then communication broke there's no yes is that true i want to pray for you you believe god can change stories you heard what i said here what's your relationship oh you are the wife wife god is about to visit your family in say amen in remarkable ways you are an architect you believe what i'm telling you look let me tell you something you see brothers and sisters we're going to pray but this thing eh, is not by power and by might one two is not by hustling are we together it's not by just god uses men but blessings don't come from men they come from god through men to you i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ you have children how many is that all don't be embarrassed i usually will not you saw that i kept quiet abby huh because i'm hearing the cry of a baby and i'm seeing a hospital and i'm seeing it's a baby girl this is what i'm seeing you see i'm not <laughs> i hope i'm not messing two of you up oh, you have wonderful couples that came in peace for the issue of finances but then please don't be surprised whatever happens god is in control it's the will of god eh um two children is not what because what i'm seeing you will be surprised i don't want to say this thing in public you said you have two children okay we'll see and then we'll talk about that eh? so that we don't uh... but in the name of jesus hold my hands the lord is going to honor you father lift this man up in the name of jesus i release an anointing enter a strange level of favor you came from abuja in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam as i pray for you the lord is going to open doors of favor beyond your imagination step into that dimension in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ lift your hands <sighs> the guys outside are still there with them okay please um we have a few minutes and i want to pray seriously i want to God is going to be visiting people in very strange ways right now. Are we together? Please, I like your heart to be connected. There are everything that is sitting on anyone's destiny. I'm going to pray. And as I begin to pray, I want you to believe God for a miracle. A miracle. Come. The Lord keeps speaking to me about this lady's family. That this family, he will not rest until this family enters her rest. That's what the Lord is telling me. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. Sharp record to Supriyata. Listen, when we pray like this, it's not just some jamboree to see people manifest. No, that's not the idea. But that there are spirits. There are spirits. Lady, look at me. Shift, please. Osha, shift. Let me talk to that lady. Just tap her, let her see me and noise her. Hold on, just where you are. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something crying and jumping out of you. I stretch my hands let it leave you now and leave you forever in the name of Jesus brothers and sisters let me tell you spirits are real they take advantage 90% of people's challenges are caused by the presence of spirits and when we pray like this much more than the manifestation it is God visiting you to separate you from the obstacles that's really it you may come with 10 prayer requests caused by one spirit and just that spirit leaving you you go back and you see testimonies are we together lift your hands i want to pray jesus at the count of three please i want you to shout jesus please just if you can just clear the aisles for me it's going to be very 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 serious right now few minutes please let's be patient this is the last miracle service and let god do what you will do now at the count of three i want you all to shout the name jesus 
we do this every time not as a ritual it is a name that is above all names that every power and every force that dares to sit upon anyone's life manipulating the outcomes of your physical results in the name of jesus as you shout jesus inside outside may that fire begin to locate men are you ready now at the count of three one two three i command judgment on every strange spirit in the name of jesus please bring them out in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that every force sitting on anyone's destiny it's time for you to let them go by the power that is in the name of jesus inside and outside i command judgment on the wicked lift your hands one more time we're going to shout jesus lift your hands at the count of three the spirits of ancestry sitting on families that you will not rise let them go now one two three go 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 i open the door and i command you to leave them now leave your destinies now lift your hands i want to pray the bible says he has redeemed us from every tribe and every tongue and every nation but there are spirits that are rejecting it listen i'm seeing people in dreams having all kinds of intercourse with strange spirits and you wake up in the morning with bad luck you go to bed and a spirit human or animal entities i'm seeing it at the count of three something will happen to you that will set you free one two three shout jesus let them go release their destinies now strangers of the night strangers of the night i command you let them go lift your hands i'm still praying we are still praying i don't know why god is showing me dreams dreams destiny is manipulated through dreams manipulated through dreams you are going to shout that name again fire will come on you and that will be the end of it everyone here whose dream has been hijacked and the devil is bringing wars to your life at the count of three be free now one two three be free now be free now be free now your hands i want to destroy patterns what happened to you happened to your brother what happened to your mother happened to your father they raped your mother they are now raping you they destroyed your father they are now destroying you no way in christ the bible says we have been separated let me tell you hold on many of you the power of god will come upon you from this prayer there are strange patterns abnormal coincidences that bring war to people's lives lift your hands when it's time to shout shout it with all your heart my god and my king i ask that you move like a mighty man and destroy patterns patterns at the count of three one two three be destroyed patterns patterns i curse you in the name of jesus
Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. There is a strong anointing. God is doing a quick work. Very few minutes. I don't know why God does it, but He gives me that direction. That as I begin to move around, many things happen at once. Deliverance, impartation, several things just happen. Listen, whatever your challenge is, I want you to just, it's not about me. There are angelic, just leave them. That in the name of Jesus, as I walk around very fast, God is going to step in and the power of God, if there is anything unresolved, as I pass your row, I want you to believe the God of heaven is stepping, stepping over your life right now, stepping over your life in the name of Jesus, that anything that is yet to be settled, I stretch my hands now, right now, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost begin to settle people in the name of Jesus. I command it, I command it. Everything, everything that is not of God of this role, everything I cost you, I cost you now in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Be free in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I decree, I decree. I'm seeing chains, chains on this road. Lose them now. Lose them now. Lose them now. Lose them now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Lose them now. Be sensitive as the anointing comes to you. It's bringing you out now in the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Those of you outside, I want you to be sensitive. Our time is gone, but we're going to be very fast. As I pass your row, many of you will see that the anointing of the Spirit will come on you. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, right now, let there be breakthrough from the front row. Right down as I walk through. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Miracles, breakthroughs. Right now, by the anointing of the Spirit, receive it right now receive it i open closed doors god is opening someone's doors here i command doors be open doors be open just believe by faith doors be open doors be open as i come close to you the anointing of the holy ghost the anointing of the holy ghost is bringing that miracle right now let it be over. Let it be over. I stretch my hands. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. This last miracle service. My sister, your tears are over. That's what the Lord is saying. Your tears are over. The mighty God is moving on your behalf. Please lift your hands. I command it. Receive right now. Receive right now. An anointing is coming on people. Receive right now. Believe by faith, receive right now. Change their stories. Change their stories. Change their left and right, left and right. The Holy Ghost is touching people. Over, over, captivity over. As I come to your road, believe by faith. I stretch my hands. Somebody in this road, your destiny has been tied. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on you. Wherever you are, I lose you now. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Bad luck, bad luck. Leave him now. Over, over forever. Over forever. Over. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands on this road. I stretch my hands. Receive that grace. Right now, receive that grace. Receive that grace by the anointing of the Spirit. Shabbata katos. I cast this devil out of him now in the name of Jesus there's somebody here the Lord is saying open the door of marriage I open it I don't know who that is receive the anointing now receive the anointing now now please those of you in this will take note I'm seeing an anointing. Shabekoto Sata. 
There is a great man of God that God is raising here. Out of this row, this row here, an anointing is coming on someone. A strange grace, please help them. In the name of Jesus, you will never, never be the same. Never be the same. God is solving people's problems. It has taken 10 years, but I'm solving it. The Lord is saying, it has taken 10 years, but I'm solving your problem. Lady, look at me. The Lord is wiping your tears. That's what the Lord is saying. It's over, over, over by the Spirit. Over by the Spirit for your family. Over, over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to receive by faith. Believe. Someone is being healed here. God is taking away a family sickness, a pattern. Let it go now. This row I'm standing on. Please believe, release your faith. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing here and I'm hearing a new song. A new song. God is giving some persons here a new song. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, please believe. My dear, look at me, lift your hands. This lady. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands here. I'm seeing the number 11. Lord, everyone that must enter their destiny here, I separate you from witchcraft now. 11 people. Right now. Sukatos kaparukatos. There's someone in the media stand around the media there. I'm seeing like lights just entered you and you are rising to a new dimension. I saw someone at the media stand. I've seen two people at the, the minister's row. The minister's row, the Lord is touching them. Two people, a strange anointing for speed. I'm stretching my hands here right now. And in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I decree and declare, step into that dimension of your destiny. Hallelujah. Please everyone, very quickly, our time is up. I want you to lift your prayer request. Pass it to the last person quickly. Quickly, please. Our time is up. Let's, let's just be, please be patient with me. We'll be done in a jiffy, but we need to do this a very quick walk. It doesn't matter where I stand. I don't have to stand in front. Just leave, please ushers very quickly. Coordinate yourselves and collect them. Just lift it, pass it to the last person. And that last person, lift it up, please. Lift it up so that the ushers can collect. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. That between now. And the end of this year. Every prophetic word. Over my life. Must come to pass. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice. Don't look at me. Pray. I decree and I declare that between now and December every prophetic word that has been decreed every prophetic word that has been decreed must come to pass every prophetic word that has been decreed where are the ushers they should collect you Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Every prophetic word. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. The grace for extraordinary results. I receive it right now. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. As you are praying you are receiving it. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. Please pray it, pray it with faith. A manifestation. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. 
I decree and declare every human agent that needs to partner with God to take me to the place of destiny I call you into my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and declare in the name of Jesus Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every dormant gift, every dormant ability within me that should bless me but is not yet activated, I activate it by the anointing. Lift your voice and pray. Every dormant gift, every ability. Every dormant gift, every ability by the anointing of the Holy Ghost activated. Say in the name of Jesus, the grace for supernatural direction into the will of God for my life I receive that grace now open your mouth and pray the grace for direction into the accurate will of God two more prayer points Say in the name of Jesus, I take authority over the spirit of fear in my life, in my family. I decree and declare that I no longer fear. Lift your voice and pray. I curse the spirit of fear. Fear of the future, fear of death, fear of sickness. last prayer point in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every dimension of the anointing that must come upon me for the next season I open up my spirit and I receive it into my life lift your voice and pray the anointing is the difference The anointing is a difference. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want you to stretch your hands. You've heard the testimonies that come from this. This is a mystery that God gave. Those online, I want you to stretch your hands from whatever nation of the world you're connecting from. Just whether it's your device, whatever, just believe by faith. Families gather together and we're here praying. We're believing God, the God of all flesh. I want you to stretch your hands here. As I bow my knees to the God of heaven and pray on these requests. In the name of Jesus Christ, all I want you to be saying is, Lord, everything I've dropped here, I pick it up as a testimony. Are we together? Open your mouth and pray. I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure all the requests are here. Make sure that the requests are here. Habala barota sada bregedigashia. Please pray. Lekata paroka to sabregadish. I pick it up as testimonies. Are you praying?
Lekata pakoroto soto prekete Shakata kata parakatos Turn it around oh God Turn it around oh God Impossible situations Turn it around oh God Hallelujah In the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare That the same way I'm stepping on this request That's how you rise above every challenge here no matter how impossible the situation is i agree with you whether it is academic career marital financial whatever it is we release our faith to the god of all flesh and we command that the requests are turned to testimonies someone is saying god can you do it for me before december yes sir yes sir yes sir I decree and declare this is what the Lord is ministering to me someone is saying Lord I know you would do it but can you do it before December in the name of Jesus may my God surprise you there are issues here that ordinarily would take years to be done but in the name of Jesus before this year listen you will not enter 2018 with this request in the name of jesus i decree and declare i know you didn't apply for the job and you've been hearing people say they get jobs supernatural i don't know whether you believe it or not but i stand on your request and i release a miracle for you in the name of jesus christ i release a miracle for you please i want you to receive it as i speak over your finances this finance thing you see there is the prophetic dimension of wealth don't ever join any naysayer to believe that when God helps you financially, it doesn't advance your life. People who talk those things are either ignorant or wicked. Are we together? Many people are grounded almost forever purely because of finances. This finance thing can punish you and disgrace you again and again. I decree and declare every financial shame represented in anyone's life here by prophecy in the name of jesus may your story change like day and night if there is any one of you that wrote any request that has to do with a financial miracle i stand in the name of jesus my god and my king the one who has helped this ministry before december ending in the name of jesus I put laughter in your mouth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. If you are here trusting God for the fruit of the womb, before this year ends, you will confirm that you are already pregnant. In the name of Jesus. Listen. I'm prophesying for anybody here you have prepared yourself but this job thing has refused to come in the name of Jesus whether there is space or not one is created here and you are put there in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare by the spirit of the living God everyone in need of direction clear direction that you are saying lord where do i settle where do i go to do i do business do i get a job in the name of jesus before this weekend wraps up in the dream of a night may my god come to you and visit you In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray for you 
the visions you saw by January, not one of them has happened now. And you are wondering, I'm seeing someone, you have a list of 10 things, not prayer requests, 10 things that you agreed with God at the beginning of this year, not one has happened. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, all 10 must happen before the end of this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Some of us are in situations where you cannot help yourself. You need a helper. This is a, a helper. Somebody to just come and lift you. I don't know who taught you that God doesn't send men to help men. Listen, let me tell you. This is a wicked world where nobody helps you on his own. But my brother, my sister, when God points you and asks men to help you, to surprise you, the God who has helped me, I have seen small of God's grace in this help. Oh, I pray for you, Ebenezer, the one that helps men. May my God help you. May my God help your ministry. May my God help your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, as you're standing here, everything caused struggle in your life. You are waving it goodbye tonight in the name of Jesus. Listen, I know some of you don't believe it. That's why you will not see it. But for those who believe it, I say it again. That anything called struggle in the name of Jesus Christ. The same way when the sun comes out, it dries the water that is on a wet cloth. I pray that may God arise and wipe every tears. anyone here saying oh god don't just visit me alone come through for my family i pray for you there are families the kind of breakthrough they need is only god that can give them i ask that god to give them now in the name of jesus christ all of you here in business i prophesy to you by the anointing of the holy spirit I don't care what you are doing provided it's in righteousness i decree and declare the grace that makes things succeed let it come upon the works of your hands in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone here or any of your loved ones due for promotion and they've been sitting on their promotion because of tribal sentiments I decree and declare like the Chronicles was opened by King Ahasuerus and Mordecai was lifted overnight. I declare that may God use men to lift your people to their rightful place. Every force that has covered anyone's glory here. You keep seeing things in the spirit but they never manifest. I decree upon you in the name of jesus christ between now and the end of the year may the god of all grace surprise you if there is anything in your life that is missing missing script missing result missing brother missing sister missing whatever it is in the name of jesus just as samuel prophesied and the donkey went back to the house of Kish. I command everything that has left you to return to you. Yeah. Two more prophetic words and we're done. The Lord is still asking me to pray over the power to prosper. I know that many of you this is not some prosperity jargon just believe this thing trust god settle it and do other important kingdom things i pray for you in the name of jesus by the god who has helped this ministry i pray there is there is an exact anointing that prospers men where in one day god can give you someone's salary of a lifetime i pray for you if you have never seen that dimension of favor I stretch my hands to you. May it happen in your life now. Yeah. 
you will wake up in the morning and they will hand you landed properties by the favor of God If there is any family here that as a family with matured grown-up children you are still staying in a rented apartment I decree and declare you may not know how it will happen but by the finger of God I lift you to your own place If there is any human being partnering with darkness to see that you will not see 2018 in the name of Jesus I stand here may the sword of judgment fall on them now <laughs> hallelujah listen to me if there is anything that according to God's calendar should have entered your life but was delayed through whatever reason i'm saying it now in the name of the lord god almighty whom i serve between now and december an avalanche of pending miracles released to you hear me there are people who god will give business ideas overnight and by the end of this year you'll be feeding others In the name of Jesus may the God I serve take hardship out of your life may the God that I serve take sorrow out of your life may the God that I serve take up today down tomorrow from your life finally I pray for your spiritual life please be sensitive I decree and I declare if your spiritual life dies everything dies i stretch my hands a dimension of the gift of the spirit that you are trusting god for for a long time and has not come upon your life a dimension of the anointing you have trusted god for but has not come upon your life a dimension of prayer you have trusted god for and has not yet come upon your life a dimension of revelation and illumination you are trusting God for and has not come upon your life a dimension of influence in the spirit visions revelations the prophetic as I stretch my hands let there be a distribution of these graces now receive it right now let there be a distribution of these graces now hear me this is the last miracle service and i decree and declare to you everything that represents triumph as declared by the mouth of god almighty i command and i declare that the angel that was sent to signify this prophetic word may they confirm that word in your life hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be Sing it one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Our time is gone, but this is our last. This is not the last service, it's only the last miracle service now very quickly please keep standing everyone there are people standing here this is your last miracle service we're not going to have any other one for this year 
we have about two three more services and we're done completely as a ministry for the year you are right here and the lord is speaking to you and saying son daughter you need to make your ways right with me don't argue it your overflow one overflow two you know overflow three and anywhere connecting with us online wherever you are you're rededicating your life to jesus or you are making that decision for the first time please our time is up but then i cannot but give you an opportunity to truly truly receive jesus wherever you are don't be ashamed leave your seat very quickly i'm counting one to five for the sake of time make your way to the front right now let's honor them as they come one god bless you as you come god bless you as you come there should be many people coming there should be many people i expect so many people coming two clear the way for those coming from overflow two overflow three because of your distance just walk to the front of your projector screen overflow three because of time just walk to the front of your projector screen three someone here is saying lord i'm tired of everything failing tired i'm handing everything to you four jesus is still speaking to people make your way to the front god bless you god bless you one more count and we're done is someone still coming win that war tonight and run to jesus christ the bible says whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away hallelujah god bless you lift your hands those of you in front and those connecting online wherever you are in the silence of your room your phone your device wherever i want you to just believe with me lift your hands and say this after me say it sincerely don't just recite it as a poem in the name of jesus say after me lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me tonight i receive you truly and sincerely as my lord and my savior i decree and i declare that i have eternal life in my spirit please help the person under the anointing and i declare that the spirit of god lives in me the grace to live a victorious life is mine right now in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted i stretch my hands the anointing of the spirit smashing away every challenge in everyone's life those of you standing i decree that every legal access the devil has over your life i decree and declare that your sins are forgiven a new chapter is opened over your destiny i release you to a life of victory a life of power an effective christian life in the name of jesus may the grace of god speak for you in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you there is a gentleman waving his hands please just follow this gentleman and they will um, communicate a few details to you and you'll be back to your seat let's honor god as they go thank you jesus dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.